Hey, welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna answer a question that I get all the time in my seminars, um, on the, submitted to the Chasing Giants podcast. I get emails about this, I get texts about this, I get social media, uh, private messages about this. Everybody wants to know, what is your favorite food plot? And today I'm gonna share that with you. So when it comes to my favorite food plot, I want, I want something that not only is highly attractive to the deer, but something that's available over a, a wide window of time and something that's also providing them with nutrient dense food over that long window of time. So for me to answer the question, what is my favorite plot is very easy. There's one plant species that offers all of the criteria I'm looking for and that plant is the soybean. The soybean is palatable to the deer and attractive to the deer from the time that seed first germinates until the last grain is consumed in the winter months. In fact, a soybean planting can last up to 12 months from the time it's planted, you know, clear until the next spring, as long as it's big enough and the deer have not consumed all the grain. That's one of the problems with soybeans is that the deer love it so well, and it's so high in nutrients, which is really attractive to the deer. They keep coming to it so hard that it's next to impossible to plant enough of them in some cases. If your deer herd is really high, they will just hammer the soybeans until they're gone. So in a lot of cases, you, you can't just plant an acre or two of soybeans, the deer will simply wipe them out. But in those situations where your deer herd's under control and you have the plot space, there is absolutely nothing better than soybeans. You know, for example, my good friend Steve Shields lives in Ohio and uh, only has space for a small plot and the deer wipe out his plot just as soon as they come up. On my farm in central Illinois, we don't have quite the deer herd and I'm able to get away with planting soybean plots that are an acre and less in size. Um, another big factor that comes into play for me is that there's a lot of large ag fields in my area that are just full of soybeans. So my deer have fields that are hundreds of acres in size to get those soybeans, which allows my plots to mature up and leave that grain for later in the season after the farmers have harvested their soybean fields. You know, another great fit for the soybean is a lot of food plotters are, uh, focus most of their efforts on fall planted plots. You know, the cereal grains, uh, the bulb plants like the turnips and the radish and those similar mixes. Well, what do you do with that plot in the spring? Do you just let the weeds grow up? That's an excellent opportunity to get in there in the spring and broadcast some soybeans in there, you know, work the ground and use those soybeans to keep the weeds down. Uh, then if the deer browse them off, well, so be it. You're gonna come back and, and plant something else anyway. Um, so it's an excellent opportunity to come in there in the spring and get those deer focused on that plot as a place where food's available before you come in with those fall planted blends. So from a nutrition standpoint, in the summertime when the deer are browsing on those green soybean leaves, there's very few other plants at that time of the year that can compare with the nutrients that are available in that soybean leaf. Um, they're high in protein and other critical nutrients. So it'll really help those bucks as they're growing their antlers. I think we've all probably seen a bachelor group feeding out in a soybean field in the summer. At the same time, you know, it's providing those same nutrients to the does who are nursing their fawns. But the great thing about the soybean is that it, it also produces that nutrient dense food into the winter months. Uh, as the deer feed on that grain, um, there's nothing at that time of the year that even comes close to comparing to the soybeans. Uh, the protein level of those soybeans will push 40%. Um, some varieties of soybeans, like real world soybeans, for example, are, are high in oil, so the deer are getting plenty of fat, uh, which helps keep them warm in the winter. So from the time that the soybean plant germinates and the deer are feeding on that green browse, clear through the season until they're feeding on that grain in the cold winter months, they are a very nutrient rich food. And I don't really know of any other plant that carries that nutrient density from the time it germinates all the way into the winter months when the deer consume the last of it. 
So I think a lot of whitetail land managers, you know, they've bought into the forage soybean hype um, where they're growing soybeans for that green forage and then they're disking up or getting rid of those soybeans to put the fall plot down. And I think that's a huge mistake. If you've never seen a field of soybeans in the winter months, you're, you're missing out, I promise you. Those deer just flock to those soybean fields in the winter like nothing you've ever seen. In fact, on my farm, I have soybeans standing every winter, and I promise you, I've got more deer on my farm eating those soybean plots than the rest of the township around me combined. If you haven't seen soybeans in the winter, you're missing out. You know, so as whitetail land managers, we've got all kinds of choices of what we could plant in our plots. And I've made no secret of the fact that soybeans are by far my favorite. I'm not saying they are the best fit for every property in every situation, but if you've got the plot space and your farm's in the right region of the country, then I'm telling you, you need some soybeans. I appreciate everyone sticking around to watch the entire video. I ask that you uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we put out a new video, and plant some soybeans.